we are almost at Red Lake. We've been hiking through the Devil's Ladder Wilderness area. Sun is starting to go down. It's beautiful country. We did find some toe impressions. We did find some tracks. We cannot say they're Sasquatch, but you know, as a cryptozoologist, you have to be able to you, you be, have to be able to take in whatever you can find and use that as evidence, just like any court hearing or any other type of scientific work that's done. But uh, the lake is beautiful. Today is a nice breezy day, but it's nice out here. Definitely a 20 degree difference than in the Carson Valley region. But anyways, we're probably going to end up hiking down to that. If you guys look, there's a little peninsula, a little island. I'll zoom in on it. We're going to go all the way down there, and then when we get down there, I'll do a video or do some filming. But uh, we heard something up in the woods, particularly on the right-hand side where it goes up into, you know, at least. I mean, to this right side, if you were to go climb up here, it'd be about 100 miles, 200 miles of mountains and wilderness. So we heard something up there. I heard it too. I don't know if it was Bigfoot coming down to check us out or a mountain lion stalk at us, but uh, he's a very curious type of creature. So, uh, you know, it could be him. It might not be him. I see a car pulling up near that island. So uh, there is a vehicle or a truck out there. But uh, yeah, I'm zooming on in. There's definitely a caravan or car, but we'll still go to the island. I am armed with a shotgun right now, so since our incident that happened two weeks ago, we just can't take any, uh, any careless or reckless type of risk. So we're not going to take risk. We're definitely going to protect our equipment and protect our work and, and protect our investigators and so on and so forth. But anyways, this is Lord Rick. I'm bringing you an update as we hike every so many miles into the Devil's Ladder area. And we are in the High Sierras. And uh, honestly to say, this is why relocated to this region. A lot of it played a part in the work that we do. It's just, we, when you come across something like this... It makes it all the worthwhile. I mean, we have shore banks 200 feet down. We can walk to the shore. There's nothing like this in the world.